one of the special things with Lisbon is the light. It changes all the time. And it's also perhaps why all my films are set in Lisbon. I'm trying to catch some of that light or some of those variations of light. I'm João Pedro Rodrigues. I'm a film director. I live in Lisbon and I'm going to show you some of the places that I prefer, that I am more, they are closer to me in Lisbon. So here we are in Bairro das Estacas, which means uh, neighborhood of the pillars. You see a lot of uh, houses that are built over pillars. It's a kind of architecture that was uh, invented by Le Corbusier and this was built by a Portuguese architect that was very influenced by him called Frumzin Sanchez and this is part of the new Lisbon. It's uh, when Lisbon was expanding in the late 40s, 50s. This kind of architecture is very filmic in itself and what I tried in my films was to reveal the, the kind of the mysteries and secrets that are in these places uh, and that they, these mysteries mingle with the story of the film and they become the film. So here the main character of the film who is a trash collector he's running away from his colleagues and he's handcuffed. Uh, and I decided to shot it here because the perspective gives the idea that he's running away and he won't never stop running away. I have a love-hate relationship with this city. I always wanted to get out of Lisbon. I always wanted to live somewhere else. But I never... Finally, I always stayed here. For me, it's difficult to have especially fiction to imagine stories in other cities other than Lisbon. It's, uh, I'm obsessed with these places. It's as I have a, not a catalog, but a lot of places in my head. And while I'm writing the scripts, I suddenly they find a place in that story. So here we are at the Cemetery dos Prazeres, which means Cemetery of the Pleasures. It's the main or the most important cemetery, even though it's not the oldest cemetery. The fact that is, this cemetery is called C Cemetery of the Pleasures, which is in a way a contradiction. It's a beautiful contradiction. Uh, this is the cemetery of Lisbon, which is more monumental. The cemeteries are like cities and they have avenues, streets, intersections. And uh, that kind of geometry, uh, which also refers to modern architecture. Perhaps. All my films deal with questions of life and death. Um, and a lot of my characters are a bit necrophilic. In my last film, the character is, is, uh, is a transsexual and she's very religious and the film talks about the con that contradiction of being religious and transsexual at the same time. This is the main place where people go out at night. It's a neighborhood that is called Bairro Alto, which means a neighborhood up on a hill. There are bars, there are restaurants, there are some uh, small clubs, but it's mainly small bars where people go and they buy drinks and uh, drink them on the street. And when people go out in Lisbon, it's very typical that they just go to one bar, then go change to another one, and then change to another. They are always changing places and not staying in the same place. We are in a ferry that goes across the river and it's mainly taken for people that come uh, to Lisbon and to Almada to just to work. So it's not a touristic ferry, it's just a ferry that people take every day, at every hour. You get the sense of the city, that, that the city is crossed by the river and the, the relationship between the city and, uh, and the river. Recently was the rehabilitation of the waterfront of the city and uh, because there was not really places where people could, could go or could be by the river 
and you see a lot of places appearing and uh, restaurants, cafes and uh, bars and, uh, and people are more conscious of that they have a river and that the river exists. So we are on the other side of the river, uh, Lisbon is behind us, it's on my back. Um, in a place called Casillas, which is part of a city called Almada. I think that Lisbon, although it's a city that it's by the river, has been uh, with its back against the river most of its time, especially in this in the last century, in the 20th century. Um, and we are now trying to turn ourselves towards the, the river and the sea. This rest, the restaurant, it's called Ponte Final, it's like the final... Uh, it's the end of the road. Uh, it's, what it, it's what it means. And uh, it's mainly uh, Portuguese food, traditional Portuguese food, fish, there's a lot of fish. And uh, I think there are several people, okay, there are a lot of peop uh, kinds of people, different kinds of people that come here. You, you really feel that Lisbon is by the river uh, and the way the river goes into the city. I think it's a place where you get the best view. 